Hi, and welcome to 3D Print Tech Design. Today I want to show you how I went from having a total chaos of 3D printers to something more organized, and what I've learned doing the project. Any good project start with some planning. So I'm using Fusion 360 to do like a CAD drawing of the 3D room. So I'm starting off with just taking measurements of the walls and windows and then I sketched up like a work surface. So as you can see I'm kind of prioritizing work surfaces and yeah if we look at it in perspective view you kind of get a better feeling for it. So on the right side the plan was to have like this resting corner so I would put the Piopoli moi there and uh, you can see I was gonna close it in have some venting but we didn't really do it exactly like that. Other than that, the plan is of course to have lots of surfaces for different printers. The Sigma down there, the idea is to have it kind of on a shelf that I can pull out so I can do maintenance on it. But that's not exactly how it ended up. I was really, really optimistic on my woodworking skills. So as you can see, I kind of designed one, one of these shelves units that's on wheels. I thought it was a great idea to have an extra work surface that I can pull out if I need it and a great way of organizing things. But hey, I'm never going to be able to do that. That's way overkill for my planning. But it's a good idea if you want to replicate it. And speaking of storage, the plan is to have a lot of these transparent containers to really organize all my tools, all my stuff. So um, yeah, this is the plan. We'll see how far I actually get. So uh, let's start building. Yeah, it's starting to look like something. Unfortunately, I didn't really film a lot, so this is kind of what it ended up with. I was gonna do a lot of mods like Octopi to have some printers running, but you can see some of these mods on my YouTube Shorts. But yeah, it's actually done, it looks really cool. It's not exactly as the plan, but hey, it actually works for me. So let's talk about the few things that I'm really happy with. For example, this small like wagon with the Sigma is great. So this machine requires some maintenance and I often find myself that I have to kind of open it up and maybe access the extruders or just get into it somehow. So this wagon is super smart and it really makes it accessible. And also having three printers stacked is pretty nice. Could be a bit more spacious but it works great. It's also great to organize your filaments so you can change spools without having to like climb into the machine. On the top, instead of these glass boxes that I put up in the CAD drawing, I've been using it just to store whatever boxes uh, things are shipped in or different project boxes. Super nice. Speaking of boxing, I also designed these uh, containers. So I have containers mounted a little bit here and there. So you can kind of take them off and put them on. It's a great way of moving things around and make sure you work with whatever you want to. These are also super nice to have, so I have 2.85mm filament spools in one container, all uh, kind of sealed. It's not a perfect moist seal, but it keeps the filament kind of protected. So those are great. Uh, as you can see, they are on wheels, so all I have to do is kind of move them in and out, depending on what I need to grab. There is, of course, one as well for 1.75mm filament. It's also really nice to have this big work surface. Organizing the electrics has been really nice. So wherever I am, I can always like plug in a printer, everything's connected, I can turn things on and off. And if there's anything I need to work with, I can just plug it in directly on the workbench. Another nice thing about the workbench, having the trash below, it's, it's actually kind of nice to clean. 
So yeah, I also have this web camera that is motorized, so via an app I can keep track of my printers. It's not located in the best possible position, but it still works nice. So from my cell phone, I can use this panoration mode, I can click on where I want to move it, and I can check out printers if they're running, maybe if I'm in bed and sleep or something. It also works in night mode, which is super nice. So, a few things that I'm not that happy with. This wooden surface is not the best, it's kind of shavy and uh, it's not the smoothest surface. And I do have a lot of space between my printers and some of the shelves. Of course, given if I had more time here, I would probably replace some of the printers, so having that space might not be that bad. Another thing is that I wanted to make another shelf in the middle. Uh, I prioritized light, but I should really have one more for more storage and more printers. Alright, so the finished result looked really great. It's just a bad thing that I have to throw it all away. Uh, we have a kid on the way and that room is going to be the kid's room. So um, there will probably be another video sometime later on when I've learned where to put 3D printers and where to store them and where to have them running. Because we're running out of space and I imagine that's more relevant for most of you. You don't have a room for 3D printers. So I'm going to try to find and learn and get some inspiration and show you guys tips on how you can run 3D printers without having a like a dedicated space for it so uh yeah hopefully you enjoy and make sure you subscribe there will be more videos but they're gonna be more random for a while since i'm gonna have a kid and gonna have to change diapers go on stroll walks and do all kinds of fun stuff that is maybe not fun for you to see so uh yeah <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching bye, bye.